Hello everybody, my name is Anne and welcome to my channel, Anna Always Reading. Today I'm coming at you with a book review for the book Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I read this book recently while I was at summer camp and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I gave this book a pretty high rating on Goodreads and today I'm going to give you my complete thoughts and feels on this book. So let's get into what this book is actually about. This book follows the main character Simon Snow within his last year at the school Watford for Magic. So this is pretty much a Harry Potter fan fiction written by a character in another one of Rainbow Rowell's books. So this is pretty meta and it was a very good book. It follows Simon Snow as he battles the mysterious humdrum, the villain, the main villain in this novel as he navigates love throughout his last year of school and friendship and family and all that magical goodness stuff. Overall, this is a pretty feel-good book and I'm going to talk to you in this video about how I feel about it. The characters. I thoroughly enjoyed the characters in this book. Simon Snow was such an amazing and full and fun main character. Reading from his point of view and the other points of view in this novel because it was multiple perspective was so fun. I really enjoyed reading from Baz, I really enjoyed reading from Simon, Agatha, Kathy, etc, etc. The whole cast of characters. I really felt that I got, I really knew them like I had read the first seven books in this series because this is supposed to be the last book in the series. I really felt that I had read all those books but I have just I just read this one. And I really enjoyed that about this novel. Rainbow Rowell was able to create such full-fleshed characters in such a short amount of, like, book space. And then they felt so real and so alive and magical around me, which is such an interesting ability to have when you write a book. I also really enjoyed the writing style in this novel. It was beautiful. I felt as if the writing was just perfect for the way this book went. It wasn't too fast paced, it wasn't too slow, it was also very descriptive of what was happening around you so you understood completely as to what was going on. The reading level wasn't too high, also wasn't too low. It was per it's perfect for like anybody who just wants to pick up a book and read. It was funny, there was parts where I laughed out loud, there was parts where I wanted to cry. Overall this is such a well rounded and fully fleshed out book and I really loved reading it. Then you got the plot. The plot of this novel was fantastic. It left you on the edge of your seat. It left you wondering, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when I turn the page? I was absolutely sucked into this novel. And I love it when that happens to me, when you read a book and you're really into it. It doesn't happen to me often, but when it does, that those are the good ones. It happened to me with Afterlife by Jenna Showalter and with Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. So books like this, where the plot is so fascinating and you're able to actually really get into the meat of it and you're always wondering what's gonna happen next. You don't wanna put the book down when somebody else is like, let's go play a game, let's go outside. And you're like, no, I need to find out what's gonna happen in my book. That's how I felt about this book. The characters, you're always like, oh my God, my babies, my precious babies, yay. You really wanted to make sure they're all safe and that they're gonna live and they're gonna be happy this book and last but not least you got overall in which I'm gonna discuss how this book left me feeling at the end when I closed the book and I read the final page I had a couple emotions number one I was like that was so weird like the last like the how the book ends it's actually super duper strange but after I was like yeah that's really weird I understood oh yeah this is a fan fiction of like a fan fiction so of course it was gonna be very strange like, the way it just ended, I was like, what? Why on earth? It also didn't end how I wanted it to end. Uh, there was a lot of surprises, a lot of plot twists. I was like, it wasn't kind of, it wasn't like a full plot twist for me, but like, the way it ended, I was pretty darn shook, if I do say so myself. Um, the characters, the way the book left them off, I was very pleased with how it happened. Overall, this book, it was such a feel-good book for the summer. It left with really a smile on my face. I would have preferred more to read it in the fall. It's more of an autumn-y book that you curl up, like, as the leaves tumble down artfully outside. That's the kind of book it is. But, you know, I'll read it again. I will read this book again. Of course I will. I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars on goodreads.com because it was just so good. There's a lot of hype surrounding this book and overall a lot of hype surrounding Rainbow Rowell herself that I was worried that it was going to be a lot like Six of Crows, which you can check out my review in the, whatever they're called again, cards. 
like a lot of hype and it's just gonna let me down but it didn't this book left me with a smile on my face and heaviness and lightness in my heart overall I recommend this book to anybody who likes fantasy Harry Potter of course overall magic whoever likes Holly Black's books like the her newest series about little magicians that kind of stuff and this is pretty much Harry Potter but it wasn't Harry Potter it was like a dreary fan fiction hashtag dreary five ever um if you want to find me on if you want to find me anywhere all my social medias will be in the down bar below remember reading today reading tomorrow reading five ever bye